another film clip we're going to run right now. This is an interview I did with uh, the driver of the hemp car, uh, Greg Kyler. He came through here about three years ago. The hemp car was running on 100% hemp seed oil. There was no petroleum in the gas tank, no petroleum oil lubricating the engine. It was a 100% hemp-driven car, and that's what we need to go back to in the future. And we'll be talking a bit more about that in just a moment. Hope you enjoy this film clip. Stigler. Yep. So how did you come to think of this, uh, the hemp car idea um, and this, this national tour you're doing? Well, I, was, I wanted to come out to the West Coast in some kind of environmental fashion and uh, I've been researching deals for a while and never really cared about hemp and came across hemp oil as a transportation fuel and uh, put two and two together. You know, that's when was that? When did you that first? That was back in uh, October of last year. October of last year? right around there and uh, started asking you know how come this hasn't been done and uh -huh. took a look into the plan a little more found out it's not a drug and uh -huh. still falls under the DEA ban so put two and two together and decided that uh, I had to do it with hemp oil uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. and so you're getting hemp oil from Ohio um, yeah it, it originated Canadian. from China uh -huh. and some from Canada and then it some of it comes into Ohio where it's made into biodiesel the uh -huh. uh, John Moore chapter at the Ohio hemp uh -huh. And Mr. Todd Quarrington of Apple Energy, who processes the oil for us in the biodiesel. Uh -huh. uh, what can you tell us about the car? Is it just normal car without? It's uh, a completely unmodified Mercedes diesel, 1983 turbo diesel. Uh -huh. um, any diesel engine can run, burn any vegetable oil, but uh, you'll get a longer engine life uh, turning it into biodiesel. So that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Uh, what about your tour? You started where? And Washington, D.C., July 4th. Um, the big rally they have there yep. every 4th of July? We led the rally and uh, took off from there on July 4th. And we covered, uh, let's see, today is uh, August 21st or 22nd. That's yeah, right 22nd. Around there. So that's about seven weeks we've been on the road and uh -huh. we've covered uh, 6,400 miles now. 6,400 miles. And how many cities are you going to in total? Uh, I think we're going to about 50 cities in total. In how many days is that? It's been about a little over 90 days. Yeah. 50 cities in 90 days, that's ambitious. Yeah. And that's on 100% hemp fuel. Yep. And what kind of mileage are you getting? 27 miles per gallon, just like the car came from the factory floor. And so it's being shipped to you along the... Yeah, we the have 12 like drop points, and uh -huh. uh, we have our fuel shipped ahead, and then we pick up as much as we can carry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, that was Grant Krieger with the hemp car. And that was run on 100% hemp seed oil. Now we're talking, you know, the price of oil has gone through the roof lately. Uh, demand in the United States continues to grow slowly, but the demand in India, the demand in China is doubling every year. So they're saying by the end of the year uh, that the price of oil is going to be $100 a barrel. Well, hemp seed oil can compete at those prices, and hemp is actually three times more productive than any other seed oil crop. So uh, the price of biodiesel will come way down when we can grow moderately high THC plants, hemp plants, for biodiesel. And that's what our political committee is going to start concentrating on, a hemp for biodiesel initiative. So we'll be talking more about that in the weeks.